Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This is the Corrupted Kelphites from the Sophonim Slayer Dungeon, the fifth monster we have done so far. And if you do want to have more information about this update, I'd recommend checking out my first loot video, Corrupted Scorpions. And as usual, all of these kills were done without a Slayer task. Sorry, I have to say that every time, just so people are aware. So a cool thing about these Kelphites is that they require 100 Slayer. Which, yep, Slayer goes up to 120 now if you completely were lost from this update. So, if you are not 100 Slayer, of course you can boost. It's not like you're not allowed. So, you know, if you're like 99, you can just boost right away. You can kill him if you want. So I guess this is the first monster that actually has some sort of different mechanics. I mean, there really isn't any mechanics here, but there are two types of Kelphites. There are the Guardians and the Marauders. They give the exact same experience, and I'm assuming pretty much the same drops. There might be some slight variations, but the ones that have the blue glowing eyes are the Marauders, and those attack with magic, and they are weak to range. And then the ones that don't are the Guardians, and those attack with melee and are weak to earth spells. The best way I found to kill these guys are with a scythe, and you try to kill them while they're grouped up and use your AoEs like Quake and Hurricane. I've heard very fast rates on these monsters, but I personally could not get them as fast as what I've heard. Personally, I was getting like 500 kills per hour off task, which sounds pretty good, but like I was hearing numbers of like 700. I don't know if that was just BS, but uh, maybe I just wasn't killing them correctly. And I wasn't using an aggression potion that could have helped, but I just didn't want so many of the majors on me because I probably would have gotten wrecked. They do hit a lot on you if you are uh, not paying attention or... If you have a lot of them on you at once, you know. But in this video, did I get any rare drops? And oh yes, I did. And of course, because I'm off task, I can't expect anything. So getting these drops were just super surprising and really hype. I got two of the new keys, which I did get one of them in my Scarabs video, if you remembered. This is the key to the crossing, which will be used to kill the new Slayer boss coming out in about two weeks. Yeah, so it's really hype. In that video, I think it sold for like 1.7 mil or something. It's way more than that now. When I sold my keys, uh, they were going above 3 mil. I'm pretty sure there was a Q&A or something that uh, RuneScape streamed earlier that must have upped the price. People must have gotten hyped about the new update of the Slayer boss, so that could have had an effect. And yeah, I sold the first key for 3.3 mil and the second one for 3.6 mil. Just right there, we have 6.9 mil in the bag, pretty much. But yeah, let's go and check out the loot. All right, looking at this, we have 3.6 mil, which actually is kind of low. I mean, you guys saw in the last video, if you watched that earlier today, it was like 4.7 or something in this chest. So this is a step down, but of course we have the keys. It's fine, it's fine. But, I mean, you might be wondering, what the hell is that first item? That is a summoning focus. And it originally came out in 2014 on Treasure Hunter. And all it does is it increases your experience uh, from a pouch by 20% during summoning, of course. And you need one of these for every pouch. So what I have right there essentially is 75 pouches worth that will get 20% more experience. So these would be very good on pouches that either cost a lot of money. So then there's not much more money you have to put in or pouches that give a lot of experience, like a Talent Beast pouch, which gives like a thousand. You definitely wouldn't want to use these because it's only like 3k each. You get an extra 200 experience per. That's really good uh, GP per experience for summoning. Um, they might increase um, price once more people figure out that they even exist. I think they're around like 3k GE or something. So again, like I usually do, are any of these items good for Iron Man? I would say that the Goat Horn Dust, the item that's 276, that is actually pretty good. I don't know which potion that's actually used for, but it's probably pretty decent. Goat Horn is probably only mainly obtained from, like, Corporal Beast, so now we have a different way of getting that. And then there's some decent Elks there with the Onyx Bolt tips. You can make some Onyx Bolts with Rune Bolts that you might have in your bank, uh, which I think they Elk for, like, 8k or, or even, like, 10k or something each. That's, like, a million Elks right there. And then, of course, you have the... Coconuts, which just like the lizards, that is a pretty decent decent way of getting coconuts. Everything again after the vital sparks on the top right are for a drop table. It looks like I did get 94 tour stalls, which eh, kind of cool, I guess. Not something you can expect from this monster, of course. So after selling everything, when you include the keys, 
That is 12.1 mil cash. That's really good, guys. That's so good. If we're wondering about the money per hour, you got to minus the 1.5 mil from the feathers as usual, leaving us 10.6 mil in net profit. Considering the video took two hours because we got 500 kills per hour, that gives us the rate of 5.3 mil per hour if you include the rare drops, which is just so good. So good. If you get rid of the rare drops, then that puts us down to 10.6 minus 6.9, which is... 3.7 mil, which if you divide that by two, it's about 1.75 mil per hour, which leaves this video to be one of the worst in terms of consistent drops. Like a couple of the other videos went up to two mil an hour. Some were 1.6. This is 1.7. So yeah, I mean, a lot of it, again, base is based on the vitals, the vital sparks or whatever. So it's very like, you can't say that this one is worse than X. I mean, you really would have to do a lot of tests, at least on Slayer. But yeah, the, again, don't really have that great consistent drops, but you know, I got lucky. So we made some good money here and yeah, for experience, I got 722 K attack experience and 240,000 HP, which isn't too bad at all. Honestly, if I was on task, I would have gotten around 500 K Slayer because there were around 500 experience per, which would essentially be 250,000 experience per hour, which is a bit lower than usual, but eh, it's all right. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the cow fights. My best video so far in terms of loot on this new dungeon, which is pretty exciting. But yeah, if you want to talk to me in game, join my friend's chat, Fat Nooblet. Also, check out my links in the description where you can find my Twitch, where I do my live streams, my Twitter, my Patreon, and my Discord server. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.